Welcome back to the uh, eighth episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Sim Golf, Sid May or Sim Golf, I should say. Uh, playing through on impossible difficulty here until the game breaks down on us, and it hasn't yet. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens. So, we've been able to expand a bit. I let the game run for a few years so just we could have enough money to actually do what we want to do in this area. And so, well, it is time for expansion. Let's get to our fifth hole. Uh, our skill rating is a little bit up and down. If we look at this hole over here real quick. Uh, it's 0 0.06 away from having 2.0 skill rating. What I think I might want to do here is uh, first remove these trees. We're going to get some scenic trees in instead. Whatever these trees can be removed, we will... Oh, almost sold the landmark by accident there. That would not have been too nice. Uh, yeah, this might not be the best way to spend my money right now, but it's uh, it's fine. Uh, let's just get some uh, chessy pattern going after, like this, and uh, like so and such. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Just getting some scenic trees going basically, and we're just making this narrower and having like an open area here, open-ish area in this this place. Now we could probably cut down on the size of that even further, like this. That should increase the skill rating required on this hole. And I hope it doesn't tank it in other ways. Either way, that went a lot of our money for making this next hole here, but whatever, we should be making money soon enough. So I think we just kind of tee off this hole right there. Why not? And uh, let's get a ball washer. Well, there's actually one here already. We'll just connect that to the pathway there. And plop down some benches. In the area in general, I guess. Uh, hmm. Ah, just something like this. That should be fine. And uh, let me see. Then I kind of want to have the. Uh, well, let's go with a fairway. If it goes a fairway down here. Like this, maybe. Just a long, straight one. And then we kind of turn it in this direction over here. Uh, more like this, maybe. Yeah, long and straight like this, and then bending down this way. I want some trees on the edge here so people don't walk off the map and get unhappy for doing that, you know. We've been seeing a lot of that, and it's a bit silly. It's a past six hole. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think it should necessarily be a past six hole. But, oh well. Um, yeah, we're probably going to have a tournament at some point, and then it's going to be reduced to a par 5 hole, which is going to be fine. This is going to be a hole that rewards length, and to some degree accuracy, I suppose. Now, let's get some, um, some stuff in here. Like, let's say, let's maybe run a stream through this side of it here. I can go all the way up like this. And let's have that stream go all the way over here. In fact, like this. And then... Um, how does pathways work with streams? Do they just kind of go over? There's no bridges. Okay. Okay, well then, we have the stream go here like this. And we create a pathway. Whoa, that's some graphical glitching, that's for sure. Um... Something like this, and oh damn it, we should have removed these rocks before doing this, because now we can't due to the path being there. We just want them to walk over grass there, basically. And let's see. Waste bunker here. Try to make it a little bit different from other holes. Uh, maybe waste bunker here as well, in fact. Have the whole thing a little bit different looking. 
something like that. And also have the rocks kind of out there like this. Oh, you know what? Screw the, screw the rocks. God damn, this is glitching out big time, huh? But oh well, such is life. This is, <laughs> this is how the game is. What can you do? Maybe change the terrain a little bit. I'm not sure. Uh, time will tell. So, hmm. Right, we might want to link this up with some hole over here. Like the thing is, I want to expand further before I start making more holes in this area because I got like some zigzaggy back and forth ideas. Um, yeah, I mean like one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a bit of a long one for sure. But uh, the length players will really appreciate it. So, uh, we're gonna get a line of three, sir. This is just like initially how we're doing it. Just try to beautify the, the hole a little bit. And uh, we'll expand out this line of three, sir, as well. Hmm. Then, ah, uh, let's do this. There we go, with this ugly ass water tower that we can't remove. But that's fine. So, yeah, that should do the trick. Maybe, actually, uh, we just kind of expand the stream all the way over here. Remove that tree, and just go stream there. And with that, let's open... Uh, no, let's not open it yet. I want to change the elevation a little bit, here, so it kind of makes sense to some degree. Um, yeah, let's get this down to five. Why is this blimp getting in my way here now? Um, change it down to five here as well. Right. So they need to hit over this, and it's uh, they need to go up and over, and then it's gonna be like a downhill thing after that, which might change it to a par five actually, or probably I don't know. It, it could be something to do with distance. But I wanted to go down and then back up again, basically. Which is gonna require a little bit of uh, messing around. But it shouldn't be too hard to accomplish. So let's see. Get it down to zero here. All the way down. Give ourselves a little bit of a roll off space, sir. So, yeah, down all the way to zero here. And then it's gonna come back up here. Take it to two, maybe, first off. This stream is gonna make absolutely no sense, really, physically. But, uh, oh well, it's not really that big of a deal so something like this and then up here just kind of a steep uphill sudden incline again up there and then we'll leave it on five here then down to three so it's going to be a little bit up and down hills type of Hold this one. And there's a lot of terrain here that kind of needs to change as we progress along, but for now, this will do. Uh, down a tree, a little section of tree. Then, just go straight up again to five, six, and seven, eight, nine. So it's a fairly, yeah, fairly elevated area where the green is going to be. I could probably do this more effectively, but I find it I'm more accurate when I do it this way. As there are some issues with this uh, function of the game. There, that worked out perfectly. Uh, we can actually go to 10. Can we go higher than 10? No. Okay. So, like this, and then, actually, let's just use this. Get everything here up to 10. Whoop. 
up to do, and there we are. So, with that, I think we can open the hold. And that allows us to purchase tennis courts. Helps your players to begin with a better attitude. Ah, uh, that could be very useful, actually. Uh, not 100% sure I want this tennis court. Not sure if they're actually physically gonna go and play in it, so maybe we can just plop it down there. How much does it cost? 30,000. So we'll wait until we have 30,000 then, I guess. Uh, and I kind of want to have like a hole going out here. And then a hole coming back here. And then like a T from out here. And then connect this all together so we can have like the snack thing and whatnot. Uh, for now, this will do the trick pretty much. Actually, let's, uh, let's go four here. Maybe four here. Looks a bit smoother and nicer. Kinda. Not really. But either way. Uh, this is absolutely up for uh, future change. Everything here. So just keep that in mind. What you're seeing here is not how this is gonna be when I'm done. Obviously. So. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This can probably be way sparkle. Just straight, very simple, just straight, straight, length is everything. And graphic glitching. Love it. All about the length. And people can uh, improve their skills on this one as well. So I'm actually going to uh, plop down a Civil War statue here, I think. Like right, right there where that uh, stream is, basically. So let's see, I want it facing like that, and there we go. But this is a good place for people to improve their length skill, basically. And that being said, I need to plop down some other things as well, like rock face, so we don't have any dandelions. Where do I put that? I could put it here. Right, just a little bit of an extra hindrance down here. Since rock face is the only thing we have currently that can actually deal with the dandelions, basically. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of an extra obstacle. Or hassle, as they call it in, uh, in golf terminology. So that should be fine. Say hello to Mr. Wastebunker. Right. So how's this hole coming along? I want this above 2 on skill rating. So 8 plus 8 is 16. So 19. 9 plus 1 on these other ones. So doing simple math. Let's see. 1.2. 1.8. So 1.99. Right. So 0 0.01 away from that. I'm not sure if it's going to adjust to 2.0 better over time. Or if it's just we need to do something else to it. But this is getting better. The accuracy is going down for some reason. This is a very accuracy-based hole. But imagination and length is going up. I'm not sure why that is the case. Um, let's rename this hole, actually. It's called Peach now. We'll rename it to... Uh, tin... Blue Line. That's the name of this hole. No, that's a terrible name. I'm just thinking like Tin Red Line, the movie, which I quite enjoyed when that came out. Either way, um, straight and narrow. The straight and narrow. So you can be on the straight and narrow. I think that's like a thing. It's not like saying on the straight and narrow. Oh, look at that. We're drowning the balls in the stream here. Hmm. Alright, yeah, so we should probably have a groundskeeper as well in this area. And we'll get back to other stuff at some point. So, let's see. Groundskeeper, where you at? Uh, that's not him. There we go. Let's get him uh, just situated in the area here. And I feel like we should be able to plop down another something. 
Civil War cannon, maybe. Yeah, I think Civil War cannon would do. Nice. Civil War cannon. And... A sundial. No. Um, a Stonehenge. And we can actually just afford it too, so that's great. Something like that. Happy endings on the end of the hole. And there you go, that was all the money spent, skill rating keeps dropping for whatever inexplicable reason. Uh, yeah, I guess it just goes up and down, not sure what I can do about it. Maybe our golfers are getting better and therefore the challenge presented is not uh, challenging enough anymore. That could be. I just changed the terrain here because of the graphical glitch looked a bit, well, stupid. So we'll try it like this, and uh, maybe we have it elevate up to three here. This is going to be the least sense-making stream in the history of mankind, but oh well. This this really does defy physics. And this graphical glitch, come on! It looks so ugly. Hey, skill rating is up. Okay, that might be because this hole is kicking in. Accuracy poor, length good. So accuracy isn't important how you're saying. Hmm. Well, we can make some changes to that. Maybe. I think we're gonna get more waste bunker out there actually. And uh, maybe here by the... Well first let's just go long. Then go long but accurate. Something like that. No, actually. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not necessarily so beautiful, but. I mean, if it works, it works, right? So that's the important thing. And on that note, okay, we're up to six. We need another 1.5, and then we can expand again. So I need to. I'm hoping I can make that happen with the holster we have currently available. Let's do a uh, practice match here against FF Hooker. And then we should probably go for tournament soon so that we can get this uh, down to a par 5. Which is what I want it to be. Yeah, so there's a couple of zones you can try to land in here. And then there's a straight... I don't know. Hopefully it's good. No comes to all. Time will just have to tell, basically. 6,000 per hole. Well, that's uh, nice, I guess. Alright, we're well, up against this guy. I think we fail pretty well, comparatively. So, let's go. Just aim straight, see what happens. Yeah, the skill rating is pushing further up. Very nice. Not sure if we're on the green or not though, it's a bit hard to see, but how is this hole doing now? So, plus 16 added to 12, 18, ah, it's not quite there, it really isn't, okay. I have an idea on how we can make this hole a bit more of a challenge. We expand this bunker like that, so now they have to go very accurate, long and accurate, and then flip around here and avoid the Stonehenge. That should increase the skill rating. I'm hoping. Oh, look at that. I thought she was going to come back when I had six point, uh, 7.25. But there you go. We got uh, Ivana Richman as well. Rolling around now. That's good. Uh, maybe we can get another landmark thing donated. JP ain't happy. Ah, Annie. No, Arnie is talking when he's trying to hit. And that just completely tanked his fun. Okay, well. It is what it is. Looks like we're getting a par here. Is FF Hooker getting a... Yes, he's getting a birdie. There goes 6,000. Beautiful. Oh, well. It happens. Hopefully we can uh, fix this later on. And here's a new, sh a new shot, potentially, that we might need in the future, which is the left to right. We put zero points into that so far. Now accuracy comes in really handy here, so please do not hit the tree. I would appreciate if you didn't. 
And I would appreciate if we didn't roll into the bunk go. Uh -huh. No, we're good. 6.74, it's going up and up. Might be able to reach 7.5 before we make any more holes, which is the dream, basically. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we just have a bunch of waste bunk to have. A whole lot. A whole lot. Like this, right? Makes the hole a bit different. Potentially interesting. And uh, just for aesthetical reasons, I also want a. Uh, oh, damn it, we're in the bunker, actually. Uh, that's not so good. But oh well. It's uh, it's just breadcrumbs, really, the money that we might stand to lose, so, so I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna get a pathway going across the waste bunker, huh? There we go. I think that looks okay. This might be up for some changes in the future. This is just the first iteration or draft of the hole. Uh, 686. Length. Then accuracy in length. And hopefully imagination needs to be used a bit as well. Right, okay. Randy is not performing well in this practice round, huh? Actually, I'm going to put a uh, scenic tree out here. Like, uh, like a big scenic tree. Like that. And uh, yeah, then we'll see, I guess. Uh, they're playing it pretty well. Right, well. Oh, I was about to hit on this hole, I just really... Oh, it's a bit... No, no, from this tee it's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm just an idiot. I guess there's a good chance you already knew that, though, if you've been watching my videos. Um, so how are we looking here now? Plus 13, 12, 18, so 93, 193. Ooh, it's a nice hook there, actually. A slice, I don't know. I don't know, there's hook and slice and all this stuff. I'm not sure which is which, to be honest. But I have somewhat of a decent hope that we can be able to get I am picky on the course again here before uh, uh, before we expand further, which would be good. Solomon upgraded to a prestigious silver membership. Very nice. Very nice. Well, oh, we dropped down quite a bit there. Imagination, poor, accuracy, fear, length, mm, going down due to us doing all this weird shit over here, I guess. Either way. Uh, wait. The other guy's used two strokes. Did he go out of bounds? Because then we might win this. Uh, what the fuck? Randy's playing like shit right now. Like, really? How could he... Jesus. That's bloody terrible. No, FF focus already held, seemingly, so... Yeah, we're gonna be losing some money on this one, for sure. Doesn't really matter. Oh my god, are you joking? Oh, wow, Randy, come on. Come on, Randy. No, I'm not gonna never mind that because of a nice landmark. Do better, please. Gonna put a couple of scenic trees down here, I think. Mm. Let's just do the high backspin shot. They are typically somewhat accurate, at least. Uh, let's see. This white one here, and that white one there. Let's do that. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, score four to seven. We're losing the overall, that's for sure. But I'm mostly interested in this hole. Too bad you can't like just play test a single hole or anything. You have to actually play through everything. Ivana Richman is on hole three, and she is quite happy, so that's good. Can just this worked out last time, so let's hope it works out this time too. I bet it's gonna go right in the top bunker. Oh, well, the sand bunker though. Wow, Randy is not having a good day. Did we lose skills there? I didn't see. I was clicking away, so I didn't see what the heck that thing said, but. I feel like we're losing some skills over here. Okay, well, we like the variety on the course, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I want this to be more accuracy heavy. So, what am I gonna do? The skill rating is up at least. So, something like this. So, they need to be accurate if they want to go really far. Huh? And something like this. It's kind of a weird hole. I don't know, they're liking the variety at least, so, you know, that's good. But we need skill rating to go there. F up. So we got 11 here now on the, I'm just yeah, adding together here, 12, 18, 91, it's going down, the skill rating is dropping on this thing. What can I do though? Maybe put a tree here. So they really have to tread the needle, because some people go around this. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get some scenic trees in. And see. A couple of these big juicy ones. I mean, it requires a lot of accuracy. And that's already kind of what it's been recognized for. But oh well. Oh well. Alright, we're on this hole here now. Let's see how it plays. Please don't go out of bounds, you. Randy, Randy, long, straight, not out of bounds, can't do that, can you? Nope. Okay, well, we get to try again at least, so if we aim for like this area, what's likely to happen then? That's actually good, it gives us a little bit of an extra uh, practice stroke on the, on the new hole. And, uh, yeah, well... It's got a bit of roll to it, but not too shabby. Uh, power hitter skill improved to 60%. To further improve the skill, you will need to expand your course to a daily fee course. And uh, that is done by constructing six holes, so we need one more. Uh, okay, the length is getting very good here. Imagination is nothing. I mean, I, you need some imagination here, don't you? I mean... Some at least. Let's put in some trees, maybe then. I don't know, just like this. Okay, remove these. And uh, we have waste bunkers in the first place, though. And then we get regular bunkers, a pot bunker there, maybe a pot bunker there. Could throw in another pot bunker as well, I guess. I'm just gonna. Hmm. Got no skill in this, so I'm sure we can do it. That's not my stroke, is it? No. Randy Ray just just what? But I already selected. Uh, what the hell happened? Okay. Uh, well. Well, 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 just where is the terrain even? Exactly where we landed. So I'm gonna place a pot bunker here after I finish a stroke. Alright, can we? No, we have to do this type of stroke. Okay then. Okay then. Tricky uphill shot, we'll see. Wow, Randy, you are not on your A game in the slightest today. Actually, terrible. 
actually terrible today. What the heck? Uh, something like this, and then I'm just gonna put out some scenic trees here, actually. These, a few of them. And let's get a... Hmm. Okay, well, I don't really care about what I'm just doing. I, I'm more concerned with the hole. I need some improvements. So I'm just gonna get some white ones in, and I'll put this kind of dead-looking one over here. And then another scenic tree right there. Ah, one last hole at least. Uh, but we were down three shots compared to our opponent here, so... I don't know, maybe all these trees and pot bunkers, some regular bunker makes imagination look better. I mean, lengthwise we're doing real good on this one. I'm just hoping the other stats on it can improve as well. <laughs> to be honest. Alright, so I'm wondering, should we go this way here? And wrap around this way when we expand? Or should we go this way here? And back over here and kind of wrap around this way? Hmm, I haven't quite decided on that one yet, but let's see how Ivana's doing. People are generally in a decent mood, Jimmy ain't, but... Oh well, okay, Ivana's on the last hole, we're gonna see how she finishes and what we get, and then we're gonna end the episode after that. Oh, another quarter pounds. Oh, she rolled out of bounds, damn it. You know what, maybe... I'll do something like this over here. So people don't roll out of bounds so easily. And then... Actually make this fairway again. Since security doesn't seem to be a big thing that we need to worry about anyway. Something like that. Just so people have less of a likelihood to roll out of bounds. People are just gonna be unhappy from that, so... Best avoid it, if we can. Okay, we're up on 7.17. How are we doing here now? The length is going up. Accuracy is going up a little bit too. I really want to hit 7.50. So what's the 6, 12, 18, 186. It's just getting worse, this one. But how's it getting worse? Reset that to fairway then. Then what? I reset that to fairway. And turn this into bunkers. Right? That might work. I don't know. I'm just trying shit until something finally, hopefully, works. Goddamn graphical glitches, man. Oh, you for real. How about I do this? Nope, still a problem. Doubled the problem. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is why I don't make large bunkers in this game. Oh, it's still graphically glitching. Stay like that. It's still kind of graphically glitching, actually. <laughs> I can't get rid of these glitches. It just, I just, it just moves to somewhere else. Oh my lord, what is going on? What is this? Fine, we'll have a graphical glitch, why not? Not Sid Meier's finest work this game. Could have used a bit of polish. But oh well, what am I gonna do? Right, so, here we are. Um... Right, where is Ivana in this mess? Is that her? Yes, she's about to finish. Please give us uh, some of the high-end ones, would be nice. That way we can just stop using the cheaper ones. So, the, the highest end or tier 3 one of anything, I would be pretty happy about. Any one of them. Doesn't matter which. I'll take either one. Right, okay, well, 
I mean, we're getting close to having Iron Picky appear again. This is increasing in... Uh, yes, it's getting better across the board here, so... I don't know, it's hard to make, like, the perfect hole. Uh, well, the thing is, some people have the knowledge on that. And... Right, uh, either way, she donated a Buddha. Beautiful. Uh, back when this is at 9. Okay, well, I think she might be back before that, because I think she was back at a lower rating than she said she would be uh, previously. But that's the thing, though. Let's get this, uh, let's get this tennis course we can. Well, we can rem remove all these things, uh, and then maybe we can. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's, uh, modify the- Oh, some wonderful hole is, uh, top 100. Wonderful holes. Anyway. Uh, just trying to lower us down to terrain level 4 here. Which then I'll have to lower this a little bit as well to have everything kind of make sense. That's fine. Is it? Is it this hole, potentially? Yes, it is. So it's hit over 2 now. Let's see. Plus uh, 8. So 12, 18, no, it, it hasn't actually hit over two, but, okay, so that's not the criteria we need to meet. Dogwood. That's a fitting name, there's a lot of wood there, and it's a dog leg. Sure, it can just be named Dogwood. Seems, seems fair. Either way, let's get a pathway going to the uh, tennis court there. And, yeah, if that improves people's attitude, then that's great. Fantastic, even. Alright, yeah, um... Things looking up. Looking quite good. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh... uh, uh, uh. The... Buddha. That might not be the highest tier. But it makes happy golfers, and we do want happy golfers. We'll remove that pot bunker right there and just put the Buddha in instead. In the right orientation, like that. So we got some stuff going on here. Should we put some Buddhas out elsewhere as well? Where do we need happy golfers potentially? Maybe here. I'll put out another Buddha. Alright, there you go, Buddha. Pow. Might. Might be. Oh, look at that. Iron Pick is about to come by then. If uh, we're on this skill rating, that's perfect. We do need some money, though. Right, here's what I'm thinking we'll do. Next episode. Probably we're gonna run a tournament. And we need to place top five on it to get some money out of that. So if we can try to get some money out of a tournament, things could be good. Right, either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it, and maybe even subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be playing some more nostalgia games and whatnot, and uh, depending on when or if this breaks down, a difficult uh, playthrough instead of impossible of Sim Golf. Just depends, because there will be a point, I think, where this game will just break down due to something, and then it's going to be impossible to continue. Um, but yeah, either way, um, yeah, you can catch me in the next one. So, have a good one.